but just at the playground right here for some reason someone's burned down this slide and then there's another one back there which has also been burned which is very fascinating this school isn't even that old this school has been shut since 2021 so about three two to three years it's been shut and it's already surprisingly a decent amount of vandalism already looking at them more closely they just didn't set this slide on fire if you go over here they just set the whole playground on fire they burnt that they burnt this equipment they burnt that and they tried burning this slide too which is kind of a shame you know it's it's around a community so kids could definitely still use this playground but not anymore it's all set on fire even though the school was abandoned i bet kids probably still came here after it closed looks like the only equipment that survived was this and this slide right here these are the only two things that survived the oisin you see right there that's a police fan it's a police fan right there Anyways, what's everybody? Welcome back to Brandy Brandy Unforgotten Treasures channel. Today we are exploring an abandoned elementary school slash middle school. They housed kids here from grades kindergarten to eighth grade. So they had a big range of kids. So this was basically a joint school. And the school was shut down not that long ago, like I mentioned. It shut down in 2021. And the only reason it closed was like usual low enrollment. They moved kids to other uh, active schools in the area and they're planning on tearing this one down sometime this they were supposed to probably do something last year because this place this property was put on sale in 2022 but as of now they're not really doing anything with the property as you guys saw there was a patrol van out front so for now we're just going to avoid the front entrance and we're going to explore this place there's probably not going to be much left but for what there is i'm very interested so without further ado let's get into this exploration I don't think there's going to be much inside this school, guys, but we'll see what we can find. It's mostly going to be desks, I think. The board's missing in this room, but it still has the projector. But yeah, you're probably just going to see a bunch of rooms like this, just empty. Not much in them. But it's still a pretty big school. Down there is trashed. These old textbooks. Got some old supplies right here. Ventures. Hmm. It's interesting. It's a whole textbook about Maryland. So yeah, this is probably like storage for like a bunch of stuff. You know, you got measurement tools, rulers. So this is probably like mass stuff. Mixed with science, maybe. Looks like math. Yeah, this one. Oh, this room? Yeah, there's like in the hole. Wow. There's like gems and stuff. On the table, there's like crafts. Just trash, just yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's like arts and crafts, like fur, there's like weird shit. Yeah, this was the art room. Yeah, it's basically trashed now. So just 
is a bottle of vinegar. Yeah, this is where the middle school is where we make it different classrooms. More open classrooms. That's a pretty pristine whiteboard. Y'all, somebody recently, you know, this is a recent, come here, Roberta. I don't think we should breathe this in. This is a recent fire, literally. Yeah, I can smell the ash. No, it's literally right here. It's the whole wall is burnt. It's this. Yeah, somebody lit that like yesterday or today. Look at it. It's a, that whole corner. That smells recent. Yeah, that smells like today. Oh god, yeah. Someone just burned this whole desk. Yeah. An owner's manual. I have no idea what this went to, but it's an owner manual or something. But yeah, we gotta get out of this room, because that, like, like she said, that's probably very recent, that fire. Are these for, like, patrols? Ah, uh, yes, I remember these. I did this when I was in elementary school. Safety patrols. <laughs> Do any of you guys remember doing this in elementary school? Because I sure do. That's cool. We didn't have a certificate like this, but we had the badge and the stash, sash and everything. Did you guys see, you can see a lot of that all over the school, MLK. Because this school was built in, I think, in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Because um, it was built like a few years or so after he, I think, got assassinated. This school was built. Um, so this school was technically dedicated to Martin Luther King Jr. Um, so it's kind of a shame that a school like this, especially dedicated to a historical figure, is sitting in the cave for like scrappers to destroy, but it's kind of unfortunate. Especially since the size of the school, it's, it's a good spot. It's a shame that they had to close this place down. I walked in this room, guys. It looks like an art room. But like, look, you have the students. They had the handprints all over the wall. Because you remember in elementary school, you would do that. You get your hand and a little bit of paint and you would just put it on the wall. That's what they did here. So this was probably for elementary school students. Probably, even though the lock has said ninth grade, so it could have been elementary, fifth grade to, fifth grade to sixth grade students were here. Oh yeah, it was a mixture. Look at that. You got pre-K, first grade, fourth grade, and seventh grade. So elementary and middle school students use this room. But yeah, this is another art room. Probably one of the better maintained art rooms. You got a whole wall right here where the students put their hands. Next floor, guys. Um, it's part of the health department, but it's all in like Japanese or Chinese. Yeah, There's a lot more demolition on the top floor. It seems like the higher we go, it just gets worse. Hong Kong. Room. Piano right there. Yeah, we still need to find like the main stuff cafeteria, gym, auditorium. It looks like they were moving stuff out because this. The chain piano is on like a creeper or some kind, but. It's 
still works. And a bottle of poly can sanitizer, hopefully, but it's unbranded. Maybe not a color room? An art room, erasers, pens, color pencils. Yeah, this is probably another art room. Crayons. It's the biggest art room we've been to, for sure. Bigger than other ones. It looks like they're moving a lot of stuff out. Possibly, what do you think is in these boxes? Are these a hand? Is this hand sanitizer? Oh my god. This may have been all just. Yeah, these are just bottles of hand sanitizer. That's what these are. That's what we found in another room. So these are all just pallets of unopened hand sanitizer, fresh boxes too. So this was probably here when COVID happened. Cause this closed right before COVID was like put inside the school system. Oh. Uh, but like this was for the school during COVID. And they just left it all here. Yeah, there's more of them. There's pallets there, there's more pallets here. You have full boxes. Oh, what's this, like wipes? Clorox wipes? It's a form of Clorox wipes. There's more in here, what the hell? What was in these? These are just... What's this can? That's oh, just... coconut milk. Just boxes, these are masks. Oh, let me get one of those. These are all boxes of masks. Yeah. During COVID. Yeah, there's more of them right here. Fresh masks. All left inside this school. This whole wall is all masks. And then again in the hallway is just pallets full of hand sanitizer. Like that's all hand sanitizer. Like look at that. There's pallets of them, there's one there, there's like two here. So this is all from COVID. That's crazy. It's interesting that they just left this stuff here and not moved it. Because that really could have been beneficial two years ago. So we came to the conclusion, based on these rooms, because it says gloves were in there, masks were supplied in there, and there's more pallets right here. This most, most, most likely was a supply room for COVID, so for the community. So when the community, like during COVID, this building was probably used yeah. to like house stuff, probably even vaccine the community, um, which is crazy to think about. It's still kind of a waste that they left everything here even after the whole pandemic thing ended. But this was probably like housing for it. It had to be, why else would all this stuff be here? Yeah, I think my suspicion's right, guys. These were, this was probably used for like a vaccine center for the community. Oh, shit. oh this is the gym. Oh, oh my god. Which is more of these pallets. Yeah, 2022. So they used this top gym, it looks like, which honestly is not probably one of the best quality gyms we've been to, but we, they used it for storage during COVID. So there was storage closet back here, it looks like, which at one point would have been like gym stuff, but I think this is where like vaccines were given out maybe. Alcohol. What's this? 
more hand sanitizer. There you got all that. If you can see right here, it kind of shows you even more evidence of this. This was this this gym was probably used as a testing center, as most gyms were. I have no idea what this is. Just a bunch of random stuff: tin foil, spoons, bands. But yeah, got COVID vaccine stickers. Yeah, this was a vaccine center. This gym. Like most gyms were used as vaccine centers back in the day. So it makes sense why you would use this one too. It makes more sense as well because like it was, wasn't being used at that time. It was at least a year old since it closed. So it makes more sense to use this place. One of the last hallways. More masks. Yeah, empty stuff for the most part. Okay, here's a map. I'll turn this light off for you guys. Okay, there we go. So we're right here, classrooms, classrooms. So we found a gymnasium. So we're all the way down here right now. So these are all classrooms that we found and down there is just more classrooms. I just has a lot more a lot of papers of what frequently asked questions about the pandemic I assume. Yeah. That's when it was last last school year for it, twenty eighteen to twenty twenty. It's the last time the school was used. Yeah, this is more elementary school classrooms. Yeah, this is where the elementary school kids were kept. You guys remember these blocks? I do. Classroom, yeah, not much. They had fun destroying that projector. No small Panathian right there, but yeah, these are like all kind of going the classrooms right here. Yeah, so you're gonna be able to see a lot more like kids stuff because like all the other classrooms we've been checking out above us, those are all middle school room, so then we're now in like an elementary section of the school. What's in this room? Ooh. I got a lot of old books here. Yeah, just a bunch of old child stuff. Oh, this is the main office. Yeah, this is the main office right here. Yeah, these are all the staff members' names. <laughs> For the yearbook photos, I think. Interesting, but yeah, found the main office, guys. It's not bad, actually. Pretty kind of small for the school, but not terrible. Yeah, yeah, American flag, as always. Some kind of office right here. Doesn't really say what room this was. I hope that was a car. 
not a human. Yeah, these are old office rooms. Yeah, nothing really fascinating. But a pretty cool spot. But yeah, right here would have been probably trophies, awards of some kind. Oh, is this the library? Oh, wow. Pretty cleaned out library, but still. You got like the little offices back here, which is probably for the teachers, maybe. Yeah, teacher supply room. Yeah, you got like this little wrap on top for the kids section. You got this little show spot back here, which looks like probably for like the kids and maybe when a teacher read a story to them. They would hang out here. Yeah, it's a pretty big library. It feels a little more spacious than the gym, but that's probably because the gym, half the gym was full of filled with boxes. You guys, final floor. That's the cafe. This was the cafeteria, guys. Mixing with a little party classroom back there. But yeah, this was the cafeteria. Pretty spacious, actually. Pretty big. He left everything in here, almost everything. Got these giant fridges back there. Got some stuff, you know, still got the oven. Got this mixer, I believe. So they still got some stuff behind here. Not everything's left behind, but a good amount of stuff. Looks like an old oven right there. Yeah, and that's probably where you picked up your food. Is this the Akatomi? Oh, it's always the double for you. Yes, it you is. Oh, yeah. Uh, we found it, guys. Found the auditorium. Let me get on one little one light for you. But yeah, this is it. I knew it had to be close by. But yeah, this is the auditorium. Not a terrible one. You know, you have a little podium right there. Nothing much behind it. But you got a little nice podium, a little nice stand to see over it. I, I don't think the elementary school kids use this. This had to have been used for just the, well not, I don't think the middle school kids use this. I'm pretty sure only the, this was only for elementary school kids based on it because like when the school was like popular in the 80s, like about 900 students were here. So this was probably at least just for the elementary school kids. I don't think they had middle school and elementary school here. Anyways guys, this has been this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. There wasn't much left inside, but at the same time, it was still an inter interesting building. Again, it was used for kids between grades kindergarten to eighth grade. And the thing I found the most interesting is the fact that a bunch of COVID uh, vaccine stuff was just basically left over, whether it was like health restrictions or like health products, whatever. 
They just left it all inside this building, which I find very interesting and kind of a waste. I had a feeling going into this when this building was going to be pretty gutted. But for what it was, it was still a fascinating building. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this exploration nonetheless. But without further ado, that's it for this exploration. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.